Hi, I'm Colleen Dewey. I'm a senior therapist at Alan Carr's Easy Way to Stop Smoking. And this presentation is to let you know about a special offering for Vitality Health members. Um, my personal background is that I was a very heavy smoker and I quit smoking with the Alan Carr program in 1997. It was absolutely everything that they promised it would be. I found it easy, it was enjoyable, and I've never felt tempted to smoke a cigarette since. So, most people actually will admit that they want to stop smoking. It's estimated over 70% of smokers would prefer to be a non-smoker. So that kind of begs the question, why don't they just become non-smokers then? And it's really that smokers have fears around the smoking issue. So obviously on the one hand we're fearful of smoking and what that might bring to us in the future. Um, and there's a big emphasis on those fears in the media. Just the general narrative is you should stop smoking because it's upsetting your children and it will shorten your life and it's expensive. But the problem with telling smokers that is that one, it's, it's obvious, we kind of know it already considering we're on the receiving end of it. But also, too, it stresses us out. <laughs> I remember when I was a smoker, there was this public health awareness campaign on the TV. And they weren't actors in these adverts. They were real smokers. And they were literally at death's door. And you had one gentleman who, at the end of the clip, it said that he had died um, three weeks after the film had finished. Another lady could barely breathe. He had another chap who had a, a tracheostomy. So that was pretty graphic. Um, but the message was the same throughout. You were being told, look, if you smoke, you have to quit or else that's what's coming your way. Look, all I know is that as a smoker, whenever I came across one of those adverts on the telly, right, my first thought was, where's my remote control? That was my first consideration. I wanted to switch channel immediately. And my second thought was always, where are my cigarettes? Because it, it being presented with the, the harsh realities of smoking scared me. And as a smoker, when I felt scared or stressed or anxious, I wanted to smoke. So it's a particularly unhelpful approach to adopt with smokers. The Alan Carr program is the complete opposite. We don't talk about how bad it is for us. Rather, what we do is we focus on um, removing the smoker's fears of stopping smoking. I really bought into a lot of fears about stopping smoking. For one, I thought I couldn't do it. I just out and out felt that I was maybe incapable of stopping smoking. I totally bought into the idea that once a smoker, always a smoker. So I thought, look, even if I did by some miracle manage to quit smoking, I'm always going to miss them. I'm always going to, you know, hanker after the odd cigarette or feel tempted if I saw someone else smoke. I worried that I'd put on weight. I, I worried that, you know, life just wouldn't be as good, that I'd lose myself. My personality would somehow become lost and, and I'd become a goody goody two shoes and I, I was fearful that I wouldn't be able to handle stress in my life. So the Alan Carr program is all about removing those kind of fears and generally speaking smokers share these same worries. What will the withdrawal from the drug be like? How long does it last? Will I ever be completely free? And the answer uh, is always that our fears are unfounded and that's what the Alan Carr program is about. Um, we do then return to the fears of continuing to smoke. But actually, at that stage, they're not um, horrible negatives that are forcing you to give up your cigarettes, your treat or your pleasure. Because at that point, you won't see cigarettes as being a treat or a pleasure. So actually, you recognise the negatives of smoking for what they are. Bonuses. That when you stop smoking, not only do you free yourself from a horrible slavery, but your health improves. Plus, you've got a bit more money in your pocket. Plus, your family are happy too. So they're, they're just extras uh, on top of the, uh, the, uh, the fact that you're freeing yourself from a, a horrible addiction. So um, how do we do it? Well, it's a seminar, a five-hour seminar in a group of between 10 and 20 people. Um, it's cognitive behavioral therapy. That's what it's called. Uh, but essentially, it's a process of the therapist leading the group through an analysis of... Um, the smoking behavior, our motivations, where they're coming from, our journey into becoming a smoker and um, what's at the root of uh, every smoker's desire to smoke. Um, there is also a light relaxation exercise at the end, about 20 minutes of hypnotherapy at the end. Um, and we've got 
smoking breaks. You might be pleased to hear about that. Every 45 minutes or so, we pause and uh, go out for cigarette breaks. You don't have to smoke, by the way. If you would typically smoke every 45 minutes, it's not, um, you're not forced to. Um, but if you want to, then uh, that uh, option is, is available. And most people are happy with that one seminar, that one five hour seminar, but there is further support available in the form of booster seminars, which last about two and a half hours each. Um, and there's also uh, a small amount of tele telephone support uh, as well. So there are so many benefits to um, stopping smoking, not least the health benefits, um, obviously money and renewed confidence and it's um you just feel a bit more positive about everything in life it's like a huge weight has been lifted off of your shoulders um you have more time more energy i really did not appreciate when i smoked just how much headspace smoking took up in in my mind it just you know i know i actually smoke quite a lot but even just managing the addiction right i'd wake up in the morning and i think how many cigarettes have i got and then I think, how long is that going to last? Where am I going today? Do I need to go to the cash point? Do I have to stop and buy um, some extra cigarettes? Do I stink of cigarettes? What, what, what's that twinge of pain in my chest all about? There's actually quite a lot of um, uh, like processing power diverted away from our goals in life, our genuine pleasures in life, and diverted towards um, managing our addiction. Um, Sir Anthony Hopkins said, um, being a smoker is like being trapped in a complicated maze. And it's as if Alan Carr has a plan of that maze and can help you to nav navigate your way out. Uh, Sir Anthony Hopkins was one of Alan's um, very first clients. Um, and I think that what he said there was is quite a, a nice way of putting it. We're lost in this maze of, of misconceptions and, and beliefs. Uh, that are unfounded and the Alan Carr program is about t holding your hand really and leading you out of that maze. Um, it's a very effective process. We've got a lot of famous um, advocates, by the way these people are not paid to, to say this, um, these are just people who've quit with our method. Um, Ashton Kutcher says this guy's brilliant, I haven't smoked for a year and a half. Ellen DeGeneres, the American uh, comedian, um, and so many uh, famous faces, that's just a um, selection. Um, I'll show you a quick clip of um, people who've uh, quit with our method at the end. Um, okay. Alan Carr has, has helped thousands of people to stop smoking. His method is removing your dependence on cigarettes while you smoke. And I'm pleased to say, Friends and my staff. Now you quit smoking also, right? Yeah, was that because of this? I used to smoke a lot. I was a good smoker. I was so good at it. But <laughs> I was like, man, it's a skill. I really? could have like taken if there was like professional smoking. I bet I could have won something. Really? Wow. Well, I'm glad you quit. You feel better? No, than you I read quit? this book. I read this book by this guy Alan Carr. Yeah. And it's called The Easy Way to Stop Smoking. In the great, it's all right, light one now, and you're Wait, like, wait, wait absolutely. <laughs> It's a, and you get a smoke like all the way through the book. Oh, what is this? Philip Morris put this book out? No, it's, it's, this guy's brilliant. And you get to the last page, like, all right, light your last one. You're like, I don't know at the end. You're like, I don't know if I want to light it, but okay, if you say so, Alan. And, and then you're like, savor that last puff. You know, he's like, take the last puff now. And you're like, take the last. And you're like, Shh. that was it. And you put it out, and then you're just done. Wow. I haven't smoked since, like, for like a year and a half. Well, oh, that's so. amazing. Yeah. That's exactly Hi, my name is Ruby Wax, and uh, I was addicted to cigarettes in 1980. Many, many cigarettes. I would put out one and then light another one. I think you know the syndrome. And I was desperate and uh, get off it myself. So I went to see. I'll be honest, it was easy. Uh, I quit smoking. It's been uh, about two months now, and I know I'm done completely. But um, I and, and you know everybody tries. People that smoke, it's the hardest thing in the world to quit. And and everybody has different things that they do. I don't understand the rubber band thing. People pull that rubber band and snap their wrists when I don't know what that does. But I always just used to carry cigarettes in the rubber band because it's um, <laughs> toothpicks. People chew on the toothpicks, or uh, and some people have the uh, I don't I, the unlit cigarette walking around just not looking for excuses like they'll go near a barbecue and go is that a hamburger oh i didn't know it would light 
What scent candle is that? Ooh. <laughs> and if you're trying the, the here's some advice. Never put the patch over your eye like a pirate. <laughs> it's dangerous and insulting to real pirates. They don't like it. Um, and if you want to quit, if you're seriously, it's called uh, the easy way to stop smoking. Alan Carr wrote it and everybody who reads the book stops. And, um, and so I stopped and I'm so glad I quit. They, um, quite a few of them were talking about the uh, book, but the Alan Carr program comes in uh, different forms and uh, the seminar is the most powerful, the most effective way of getting the message across. Um, we've also got a lot of coverage in the media um, and what I just wanted to point out about that is that when people talk about our method, you really get a sense of the, the freedom that they experience through quitting. Like that quote there, I've never been more confident confident about not smoking. These aren't people who are miserable and unhappy and they're missing their little treat or pleasure. They've seen through the illusions, they know smoking for what it really is, they understand the mechanism of the addiction and they're glad to be done with it. And that's that's really what appealed to me about this method. Um, a number of people at uh, Karmarama have uh, quit smoking with the Alan Carr program and uh, I myself witness my sister quit smoking with the Alan Carr program and um, I thought me and my sister would be smoking to the grave. I thought that we were very committed to it and she just quit. She quit, read Alan's book, stopped smoking and we were out drinking. We were doing all the normal stuff that we'd done for years but she wasn't smoking anymore. She didn't look bothered by me smoking near her. She didn't look tempted. I even offered them to her. I, I, I was saying, oh, you know, have a, have a cigarette. Um, she just laughed and she said, I'm never going to smoke again. And I, I remember at the time thinking, wow, I mean, if that's real, if that's not put on, I'm the person who's missing out. I'm the one who's missing out my freedom. And and this is really what the Alan Carr program gives you back, your freedom, to be to be like you had never even had your um, that first ever cigarette. Uh, we've got success rates um, that have been published in uh, peer-reviewed uh, journals and they show that our success rate after a year is over 53%, after three years it's over 51%. And just to put that in context, the highest success rate that you're looking at in comparison is with the um, NHS um, smoking cessation service. If you go along for an intensive course uh, like a six-week course, and you also have some kind of pharmacological intervention, then you're looking at about a 20% success rate. Whereas our method is five hours, and it's over 53% success rate. And with us, you get your freedom back. So it's not that you still, you know, 20 years down the line think, oh, you know, I used to smoke and I miss it still now. You're, you're good that you're done with it. Um, so um, it's life changing. <laughs> I've done some pretty amazing things in my life, I think, and uh, stopping smoking was right up there with with the best of them. It really does impact your life. I I didn't fully appreciate when I was a smoker just how much <coughs> it impacted my confidence, my self respect, my relationships to people around me, uh, my my relationship with myself. Uh, the money and all the, the other um, obvious things, my energy levels, your, your sense of taste, your sense of smell. Like, maybe it doesn't sound so much to you right now, but these, this is what life is all about. This is where the juice of life comes from. Having the energy, having the confidence, having the motivation to go out and pursue the things that you want to pursue. And smoking dulls every part of your life. And by getting rid of cigarettes, obviously you're, you get your... Uh, uh, your all your faculties back. Um, the seminar's free. It costs £299 um, just for a normal person to come in uh, to our public clinics. But if you're a Vitality Health member, it's completely free. Um, so Vitality Health fully subsidise um, our programme because they recognise it works and because it makes economical sense for them um, to have healthy uh, members um, on their plan. If there's enough people, we'll do it on site. We need 10 people um, to do something at Kamarama. Um, so uh, that would make it even easier. You don't even have to, wouldn't even have to go anywhere. You don't, you don't have to want to quit. I tell you, when people come along to our seminars, they're not, 
jumping through the door saying, yes, I'm ready, <laughs> I'm gonna quit smoking today. Quite often we have people coming in saying, oh, I don't know if this is the right time and I don't know if I'm a proper smoker and I don't think this is gonna work for me. You are gonna have doubts. That's what our seminar is about, removing your doubts and your uncertainty. So don't feel that you have to be ready and you have to really want it. Our method is easy. Now, I'm all for taking the easy path in life, um, and I would encourage you to do the same. There's, it doesn't have to be difficult. If it's difficult, you're not doing it right. This is a very simple and easy process. You just need to know uh, the right way to go about it. Something else that's pretty cool is as a Vitality member, you get cash back. So after you've quit smoking for a year, um, you actually get money. I don't, I don't know what the current figure is. It's not like millions or anything like that, but you know, it's a meal out. It's not to be, uh, to be sniffed at. Um, so, uh, some other points just bear in mind. We don't use drugs. So don't worry if you're on other medication for stuff. Um, this is completely natural. It's not gonna impact any condition that you've got or any other medication that you're taking. Um, so that's not um, an issue. We don't use shock tactics. We're not going to sit you in a room for five hours and show you pictures of blackened lungs or anything like that. Um, it's just common sense. It's logic and it's just, um, it's just about seeing it for what it is. It's also instant. That's a big deal. You don't have to commit to a six weekly program. This is, you just, it's half a day. And that's all it takes to completely reverse um, the, the, um, the misconceptions about smoking and, and to get the correct perception of them. Um, we do have the high success rates and I would say look, if you are going to quit smoking it takes it takes courage, it takes guts to actually you know say to yourself right I'm going to do something about this. So if you are going to quit smoking I'd say give yourself the very best uh, chance to do it because if you let's say you quit smoking with e-cigarettes or with patches or gum or whatever and then you fail, it will take you a good couple of years to build up the courage again to give it another bash. So if you are going to quit smoking, be wise about it and go for the method that gives you the very best chance of success. And uh, it's the word easy again. This is the easy way of doing it. Um, no horrible withdrawal from the drug, no cravings, no, you know, terrible period where you're not allowed to go out and enjoy yourself or you're not allowed to um, cope with stress you hit the ground running you are fully equipped when you attend a seminar you're trained so that you know exactly what's going on you know exactly how to deal with the thoughts of smoking and exactly how to handle those um, trigger moments uh, with ease um, so I would uh, that's the end of the presentation from me I think you've got a great opportunity here to um, really do something positive in your life about the smoking issue. Um, I very much hope that you sign up for the course and that we get the 10 and uh, hopefully we'll be seeing you soon. But thanks very much for your time. Best of luck.